Welcome, Cyclone Fanatics, back here at Mr. B's today. Uh, actually, been a couple weeks. Well, it's been a while. And I miss you, Chris. Uh, we, 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 I think well, since you got married, you don't hang out as much with me. Well, I, I'm, I live in Ames. <laughs> well, we love having you back. Well, it's good to be back, and I tell you what, Tim, weather's hot. Today's like wow, it's warm today, out there. It's probably going to be one of the hottest days yeah. of the year today. Not um, too hot to come to Mr. B's. No, no. stop on in, and you no. got a big tent sale coming up. We right? do. We well, we're on sale. I want to clarify that a little bit. We're on sale right now, and oh, for okay. your best selection, you can stop in any time at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa. But at the end of the month, the last three days of the month, consolidation sale of all our stores, right out under the big top. It's going to be white tents and great prices, and I invite everybody to come in. It's the last three days of the month. The last three really days. Start to heat. Yeah, I might even get you in here. Bring it on. Yeah, we'll we get, could. We we'll could have some fun. We'll get something worked out. Um, stop on in again. That's 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa. Beautiful Clive, Iowa. Tim, we are within 50 days of the college football season. Yep. The, the, you know they're going to be putting those helmets on pretty soon. We are, and I've, I've about um, ciphered my way through this bad boy. They call this the Bible. You've been doing your studies. I have, because Tim saw it. Now, a lot of you fanatics think that I don't do anything. I have one guy, you know, he's like, what do you do during the off season? I'm working. You know what, you're, working. you're the expert, and I got a lot of BS. You know, that's kind of, <laughs> kind of what we do. Well, what we're going to do, Fanatics, is from now and then the next 12 times I meet with, next 11 times I meet with Tim, we're going to do a game of, a game of day where we're going to talk. Tim's going to make a pick. He, I mean, he's here. We are I'm, in the I'm, middle I'm of I'm ready already. Tim's ready to make a pick. I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait and get some training camp um, predictions, whatnot. But Tim's going to make his picks. I do it off the cuff. He, he studies, see? Twelve times in a row. Today we start with Northern Illinois. It's tough, going to be tough, a Thursday night team. game. Yep. It's got picked up uh, by Fox Sports Net, so you're going to be able to watch it on television from Jack Tri Stadium. Uh, Tim's kind of gone over what Phil Steele has to say about Northern Illinois. I'm going to give you my take quickly, and then we're going to get Tim Sitzman's prediction on Absolutely. this football game. Absolutely. Northern Illinois, according to Phil Steele, has a first-string all-MAC running back. They have a second-string all-MAC quarterback. Uh, Steele doesn't pick him to win the MAC. Uh, a lot of people are. Uh, this football team, Tim, if, it, if this game was taking place in Northern Illinois, they would be favored to beat the Iowa State Cyclones in week n number one. I don't think... Iowa State fans, it's not getting through their heads. Right. I think Cyclone fans, not all of you, but a lot of you, are. you look at the sky, oh, that's a win. Check that out. Don't yeah, do that. No, no, they can't overlook any team this year. No, and this team will sneak up on you and bite you, especially with an inexperienced defense and that type of firepower with Northern Illinois. Should Iowa State win this game, a Big 12 team that won a bowl game last year? They should. But this is by no means a guarantee. Well, what's your take on the football game? Well, I look at it. Uh, I look at our Cyclones as the, as the defense is rebuilding, and they got they're getting some athleticism there, mm -hmm. as we talked about last season. And I think that it's going to take some time. So I'm a little scared about this game, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I, I really think Northern Illinois is going to come in with nothing to lose, no. kind of attitude, and a defense that they can pick on. But I, I, I'm going out. I'm going to say it right now. 28-24. Oh, all right. Last second field goal by the clones to win. All right. We have a great offense. I think the offense is going to show up, but I think the defense is going to struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So a three-point game uh, with the clones. And I, I kind of agree with you from the, the statistics that you said. If that was out of tri Jack Tri Stadium, we might be in trouble. Mm -hmm. and, and they're going to be looking ahead a little bit to game two, which we will talk about uh, later on for next week. But uh, I really think that they're going to come out ready to play. I, I'll give Coach Rhodes the nod here because I think he's coming off a very strong – successful season even though we we you know we got successful at the end and we were 500 and had that great bowl win mm -hmm. a terrific job first year there so i think there's momentum going into it but uh fanatic fans don't don't chalk in i'm i'm with chris don't chalk any w win it it could be an awful long season or we could have three or four good wins uh, uh, we'll get into that more as we go through the season but uh, let's hope for a lot of good athleticism and some some newfound talent that will help us. All right, so Tim Sitzman's picking the clones to beat Northern Illinois coming up on September 2nd. Tim, a few tidbits that I've heard. Talked to some former players who are not on the Cyclone roster anymore, right. but they you know, they do some talking. Sure. Um, the offense is confident right now. The, should, should be. The offense thinks that the, you know they've got something special. They, right. they feel chemistry. Even with Scott Houghton, the offensive lineman, who's no longer on right. the team, right. they really feel like they're guys in place to 
replace him and do a nice job. I've heard that Chantrell Johnson has been very impressive Go ahead. in his uh, off-season conditioning uh, workouts throughout the summer. And I've also heard, you know, in this former player who, who gives me a lot of good information says, Chris, do not worry about the linebackers. Oh, good. Klein and Knott and those guys who don't have a ton of experience, he said, don't worry about the linebackers. It's the last thing you have to worry about. The defensive line is going to struggle. We all know that. But he said, don't worry about the linebackers. So that makes me feel a little bit better about, hey, and it, we all knew that those guys had potential, but hearing a, a former Big 12 player tell me that comforted me a little bit. It, it does. And, it, you know, still got to go on, on on the field, and we still got to see how they react to each other and how the chemistry comes together. But, you know, I think the coaching staff's in place and strong, and I think you're going to see a fine team. Even though the record may not indicate it at the end of the year, you're going to see them improve as that yeah. year goes on. I, I don't think there's any question about it. I think that's a pretty strong opinion right there. Okay, Tim picks Iowa State to win by a field goal over Northern Illinois. I'm not giving my predictions. Again, I will do that before the season He's starts. He's got too much knowledge. I'm off the cuff. <laughs> He's smarter than I am. Tim's got Iowa State at 1-0. Tune in tomorrow morning here at CycloneFanatic.com, and we're going to talk about game number two of the 2010 season. Sounds great. The granddaddy. A wonderful game. The, the Hawkeyes. The in-state rivalry. It's, it's what uh, the people of Iowa enjoy. I big, mean, it's great. Big one. We will talk about that tomorrow morning, so tune in here at CycloneFanatic.com. Stop by and come see Tim Sitzman at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive, Iowa. Uh, for Tim, I'm Chris Williams. We will see you tomorrow morning. Don't forget the tent sale. Tent sale going on here at Mr. B's.